coast to coast and border to border all over the world wide web and on 50 plus stations throughout the U.S. and Canada 28 minutes after the hour. It's Myrna Lynn joining us here in a few moments. If you want to get more information on our guest, you can check out JiggyJigwire.com. We will have complete information. We'll have a, a download of the interview just in case you, you come in late and you miss it or what have you. It will be available over there at JiggyJigwire.com. And uh, Myrna Lynn is going to join us here in a few moments. And uh, also follow us on Twitter at J-I-G-G-Y-J-E-G-U-A-R. Myrna Lynn, how are you? Welcome back to the program. Thank you, James. Thank you for inviting me. It's good to be back. Now, let's, let's talk. You're the diet diva. What have you been up to since the last time we had you on the program? Well, it's been a very busy time, actually. Um... Let's see. I had a very successful seminar in Fifth Avenue in New York. In fact, I just emailed you a photo of that. Yes, indeed. I don't know how accessible it is for you to view it, but there it is. And then I was in, uh, let's see, I was asked to return to Atlanta. I had done a full Florida and Atlanta tour last in February, and then I was asked to return. So I did eight public appearances in six days in Atlanta. Wow. And then I was just in New Orleans over Mardi Gras, and a little bit before that, actually, is when the Mardi Gras season started, I was asked to address the entire community, actually. And in addition to that, um, they had a beautiful Valentine's event in which I was a guest of honor and did some book signing there. And I had a full-page, front-page interview in uh, their newspapers, so it's, it's been busy. Myrna Lynn with us today here on the program, Coast to Coast and Border to Border. She joins us live, and uh, she has been uh, busy, 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 and uh, she's with us today. Uh, talk about um, Earth Day. You've got that coming up this April in Manhattan. You're going to be embarking in a uh, Brooklyn, New York book tour. Tell us about it. Yes, I will. Well, first of all, I want to mention that my book is entitled The Ten-Second Diet. Yes, and indeed. As you know, the word diet refers not only to the food you eat, but also to the life you live. Because I think it's important not just what you put into your body, but what you put out into the world. It's a matter of mind, body, spirit. It's, it's everything. And yes, I was asked to speak at Earth Day this year in New York on that very topic, actually. So I'll be, we'll be there. And then I have various other uh, public appearances, several as a matter of fact, among them a wonderful, wonderful bookstore called the Bookmark Shop, and that's on 3rd Avenue. And I will be there Tuesday, April 22nd at 7 o'clock. And this will all be on my website, the 10 secondditecom And I've been asked to speak at the Bay Ridge Center on Friday from 6.30 to 7.30, and that's on 81st Street. I have another appearance Saturday, April 26th at 12.15 uh, as part of the Food for Thought series on 46th Street. And then I have um, an appearance uh, Thursday, April 24th at 4 o'clock at a fantastic place called NIMBA. Uh, uh, you'll have to look that one up. It's N-I-M-B-A. Uh, I mean, words don't express. It's absolutely beautiful there. So that's just a few of them. There's several more, but, you know, you can see it on my website as they uh, fill in all the details, so to speak. It's Myrna Lynn with us today here on the program, Coast to Coast and Border to Border. She joins us live, and uh, you can join us live each and every day, 2 to 5 Central, 3 to 6 Eastern, and 12 to 2 uh, 12 to 3 Pacific, and we're 24-7 at JiggyJakeWire.com. Myrna Lynn on the line with us, and uh, in November, you had eight public appearances, book signings, speaking engagements for six days in Atlanta, and just last month. Talk to us about this. Yeah, oh, it's wonderful. I love Atlanta. We were, as I said, I'd, I'd done um, a little tour there after Florida. They had found out I was in the area and wanted to have me stop by, and so I actually had more time this in, in November. It was exciting. It was wonderful. Um, Atlanta's great. Have you been to Atlanta? James? No, I've never been to Atlanta, but we do have a uh, we do a radio program uh, that is, that is heard in Atlanta, so uh, it's uh, it's always a good time. Uh, tell, tell us a little bit more about your Atlanta jaunt there, my friend. Well, I had uh, let's see, I had speaking engagements and book signings and just appearances where I just meet and greet people. It was it was just wonderful. It was really great. 
It's Myrna Lynn. She joins us today here on the program, coast to coast and border to border, talking about uh, all sorts of different things. She's the diet diva. Check out the 10secondDiet.com. That's right, the 10secondDiet.com. And uh, you, you've been doing all sorts of things. Uh, but what else has been going on? That you're 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 an Alzheimer's uh, uh, Association's ambassador. You're, you've been doing lots and lots of things. Yes, I do. I have been working uh, with the Alzheimer's Association for over a decade in trying to um, enhance people's awareness and get legislation passed. And I do donate a very generous percentage of every book sold at my book signings directly for Alzheimer's uh, research. And I'm honored to be there, an ambassador for them. And did you know that there are over five, if I can throw a couple statistics at you, there are over 5.4 5.4 million Americans living with Alzheimer's in this country. Wow. Yeah, I know. That's one in eight older people in this country, and it is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. Every 68 seconds, someone here is diagnosed with the disease. And, you know, as terrifying a thought as that is, this absolutely was astounding to me. There, is, there are over 200,000 people right now in the United States under the age of 65 with what's known as early onset onset Alzheimer's. So we need to find a cure sooner rather than later because it's a road we might find each other on one day. Myrna Lynn with us today. Uh, she's she's on the program talking. Uh, break that down a little bit more for me, the, the, the Alzheimer's situation there. Yeah, well, uh, not a day goes by, really, that you can't read something about Alzheimer's. It's still a mystery of a disease. We don't know exactly what, what, it, what causes it. We know that there's a plaque that forms on the brain, which not only recesses your thought processes, but it actually stultifies them and, and stops them. And short-term memory loss is the first thing to go. It's just a disheartening disease because it robs you of the one thing that you are entitled to have, and that is the memories of your life. And it affects not only the person who's affected by it, but also the caregivers and the family, because it's, it's just heart-wrenching to see what happens if, um, when somebody is affected by that. Also, we have to understand that the umbrella term is dementia. That, uh, that refers to any type of a mentally degenerative type of disease. Alzheimer's is one aspect of it. But those who have dementia do not necessarily have Alzheimer's. It's a whole different aspect of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So we want to be careful when we use terms that they're the right terms to use. And as I said, it's the sixth leading cause of death, and only recently now is being acknowledged by the government as something that they need to focus more time and energy and funding to. Myrna Lynn joins us today here on the program. Myrna, if you want to hold the line for just a second, we've got to take a uh, quick time out here. When we come back, we're going to chat a little bit more with Myrna about uh, all sorts of different things going on in her world. We're going to take a time out. We've got this for more when we come back. Techno-mall.com. Over 2 million homes are burglarized in America each year. Remove your risk of burglary with secure, remote, invisible locks. Without a lock to pick, burglars will struggle to find a way into your home or your business. You can even secure your windows and glass entryways as well. Check out techno-mall.com for more information. Techno-mall.com. Did you know that modern-day logos evolved from the medieval coat of arms? Even in the Dark Ages, people knew the value of a distinct brand. If you need a logo, flyer, booklet, or other marketing materials for your business, visit kcldesign.ca. Here, you will find some of the lowest graphic design prices in the industry, with many custom designs, starting at just $99. You will also receive an additional 20% discount on basic services when you mention this ad. Make your business stand out like royalty 
Visit kcldesign.ca to get started. Attention everyone, is your computer getting slow? Are errors popping up all over the screen? You need Quick Speed PC. Get your free scan today at quickspeedpc.com and speed your computer up like new. That's quickspeedpc.com for your free scan today. Go to quickspeedpc.com today. quickspeedpc.com Somewhere over the rainbow lies a pot of gold that's sure to make your next fundraising event a huge success. Rainbow Dust, the innovative and exciting project that is a must-have for any fundraiser, is the hottest interactive candy product on the market today. Visit www.myrainbowdust.com to see how Rainbow Dust can add magic to your next function. Find out why kids will be standing in line for their turn at making their own delicious Rainbow Dust candy creation. Use the promo code RADIO2 to receive free ground shipping myrainbowdust.com let the magic begin this is chris markowski your watchdog on wall street and this is your watchdog on wall street money minute president's day yesterday there was an interesting article in national review uh, written by deroy murdoch and he brings up the irony he brings up the irony of the statement that barack obama made on february 10th the good thing about being president i can do whatever i want he said those despicable words while guiding French President Francois Hollande through Monticello, home of Thomas Jefferson, who was, well, let's just say he was a key architect in the whole idea of limited government. Um, that very day, Obama as well said, you know what, Obamacare mandate for employers with 50 to 99 workers, well, you don't have to do that. Uh, yeah, Ted Cruz tried that, and he was some sort of evil doer. Living in very strange times. Watchdog on WallStreet.com. Now, the Jiggy Jaguar Show on JiggyJaguar.com. Welcome back to the big broadcast, coast to coast to border to border. Myrna Lynn is back with us. And uh, Myrna Lynn is the Diet Diva. Check out the 10 Second Diet. Dot com and uh, Myrna, you've been doing all sorts of different things, and we've been seeing you all over the place, online and offline. You're you're doing some amazing stuff, and uh, out of the Detroit area, um, tell tell us tell us a little bit about the Ten Second Diet and how it's doing uh, on the charts, uh, on the book charts, and everything. Well, it is considered a bestseller, and I'm very proud to say that it was sent to the White House to work with the First Ladies Initiative for Ending Childhood Obesity, because in the newest study, one-third of U.S. children, and that's considered to be the ages 2 through 18, yep. is considered obese or overweight. So we need some, uh, a, a quick fix. We need something that kids can handle. And the book is extremely self-empowering, and it's really generating a lot of momentum. In fact, you know, there's a commercial out right now I wanted to, to talk to you about. It's really for yep. a frozen vegetable company. And they show six little saltine-type crackers next to a big bowl of vegetables. And their, cat, their catchphrase is, when you're managing your weight, bigger is always better. And unfortunately, that's the mentality today, that more is better. And that's not always the case. A lot of times, more is just more. And, you know, if your body is craving something salty, a potato chip, like they also show eight little potato chips and, and compared to this enormous bowl of vegetables. And, by the way, if you read the fine print, it says that the vegetables shown are actually two servings, not just one. And if you really crave that potato chip or crave something salty, you can have four big bowls of vegetables, and you're still going to want the chip. So you know what? Don't, don't do that to yourself. If you want that chip, have that chip. Just don't have the rest of the bag that goes along with it, you know. <laughs> and this is a prime, it's a prime example of why dieting doesn't work. Yep. We need to get out of the mindset that having an abundance of something is in any way of an increased benefit rather than just having a sufficiency. It's the typical quality versus quantity maxim. And you have to realize that a small amount of something you really want is much better than copious amounts of something that you don't feel like having at all. You know, I have a tenism that goes along with that, and that is think of a second helping as you're really not helping. 
It's Myrna Lynn with us today here on the program, coast to coast and border to border. She joins us live talking about uh, her. She's been uh, she's been all over the place and she's doing some amazing stuff. And uh, highly successful New York Times bestseller, uh, The 10 Second Diet. Uh, we interviewed her about a year ago and she's been very busy touring the nation with her book. Uh, just amazing, amazing stuff. Now, um, what, what, what's some of the other things you got coming up there, Myrna? Well, I'm so glad you asked, James, because as I, I did use the word tenism, that is my word, and it means ten, a ten-word sentence that can change and improve your mood, your day, and maybe even your life, such as there's no such thing as bad food, just bad choices. Or um, remember that even when you lose the weight, you are still you. You know, people tend to think that once they're successful on a diet, their lives will change and everything will be perfect. But remember, you know, you're still who you are when you started all of this. And actually, I've been asked uh, for a second book, and there will be a second book coming out this year. It's predominantly on tenism, uh, because they seem to have really struck a nerve with people. But also, it was interesting. I was asked to speak at a uh, actually a congregation of over 3,000 members, and I was booked in July to speak in November. And they called, and they said, you know, we were thinking about it, and we'd really like you to, to open up our whole um, seminar and say something that's really inspiring. You've got a minute to do it. <laughs> and I said, well, you know what's funny is that I'm writing a book, and I just wrote something that will be in the second book, and... Tell me if this is what you have in mind. So I read it to her, and she said, oh, my gosh, that is exactly what I had in mind. So here it was that I had just written this the night before, and the very next day she called and asked for something like this. So if I may, may I read it to you? It will be in the second book. Hey, go it. ahead. Jump in there, Myrna. Jump in there. <laughs> okay. We've all heard the saying, live each day as if it's your last. And I got to thinking about that because something just didn't feel right to me about that concept. To live as if each day were your last could result in reckless abandon without forethought or possible repercussions. It's important to live in a thoughtful way instead of an impetuous one. You should really live each day as if it isn't your last, and that what you do today, the words you speak, the actions you take, and the decisions you make, you'll have to answer for tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after that. What you choose to do today should be based upon thoughtful and conscious contemplation, knowing that you will have to live with and according to the choices you make today. And any repercussions from your words and actions yep. you have to contend with eventually. So live not as if it's your last day, but if it's, as if it's a bridge in the continuum of your life, yesterday, today, and all your tomorrows. Fantastic stuff. Myrna Lynn with us today. She's the Diet Diva. Check out the 10secondDiet.com. And uh, Myrna, thanks for being with us today. I'm, uh, I, I wish we had a little bit more time with you, but I know we'll talk to you uh, here in the next couple months. You're, you're, you're globe trotting and all over the place. So uh, good luck with all the trips, and we'll talk soon, my friend. Thank 